Sarah here. Okay, so I have no idea what this video is going to be about. Literally none, because the only idea I have is the mid-year book freakout tag, and I'm saving that for after I've done the readathon because I've clearly read more books. <coughs> if everything goes as planned. So I'm just here like, I need to just upload a video. But I have no idea what. So I thought I'd just tell you what's been going on. So, in Melbourne, we're in COVID. <coughs> we're in stage three lockdown at the moment. People keep getting sick. So we had like 360 something cases, I think, reported last night. And the night before that, it was 489 cases. People are dying now, like actually dying and lots of people are in intensive care and it's not just the old, it's all ages. So there has now been a decree as of this morning, so it will come into effect either Thursday or Wednesday of this coming week that when you're outside you have to wear a mask. You can't leave the house without a mask, which to be honest should have been put into effect months ago or people should just do it because it's common sense. But you know, common sense, it ain't so common. Um, so that's the thing. And I'm just, I was on the phone with a mate earlier and we're just talking about it. And I'm like, if we're going in <coughs> to stage four, can we do it sooner rather than later? So stage four is basically, unless you're in essential service, like doctors, nurses, gas station attendants, police officers, that sort of thing. You don't leave the house, except to go to the grocery store. So if that happens, my prac classes will be cancelled, which will be annoying. But if we have it now, I might be able to go in placement by the end, by the end of it. But it's looking more and more like <coughs> placements going to get cancelled. This is going to drive me nuts, but we have to deal. So... That's been lovely. You may or may not hear the wind right now. We've got rain or storms currently in Melbourne. Which is not a bad thing, especially since everyone has to be inside anyway, so I'm just like... I'm okay with that. The ground needs water. And frankly, our rivers need water. The last thing we need is a drought on top of everything else. Um... Okay, story time. Right. So, I ordered IKEA furniture. You can see my new chest of drawers there with the mirror. It's gorgeous and lovely. But I ordered this at <laughs> the second last week of June. <coughs> as soon as my placement was done, I ordered that furniture. And they told me it'd take three weeks for it to arrive. So I'm already kind of irritated by that because I'm like, three weeks? By then I'm back at classes. But okay, and then I and then later on I get so come Wednesday or Tuesday, I get two I get a confirmation text and a confirmation email assuring me that they will be delivered on Thursday between sometime between seven AM and seven PM. Isn't that just a lovely time gap? Seven AM and seven PM. That's twelve hours, mate. And apparently, when they're on their way to the house, they're going to give you a call. But I never got to confirm this. Because I called up Ikea and was on hold for over an hour before it cut out. And a friend, but I had classes those days, so I couldn't spend the whole day on hold. So one of my brother's mates, who is awesome by the way, also called. And he was on hold for 45 minutes before getting cut off. So we didn't even get through to speak to anyone. And then the, the package, because I wanted to get a bit of time frame on when this would deliver. And then they don't even deliver. Not at any point during that 12 hour period do my packages arrive. So on Friday, I'm a bit panicked because I've got to head out. I've Got to leave early in the morning to get my hair redone. You'll notice it's by the glare. It's nice and dyed and lovely and I'm so pleased with it. It's gorgeous. But I have to leave early. I have to leave the house by 8.30 to get it done at 9.30. 
and then after that I've got other stuff to do I've got to get I've got um I've got to get myself lunch at some point during that day and I've got to go to TAFE to do my Pratt class because at the moment those haven't been cancelled and that's essential I have to go there and I have to go to Specsavers to order some new glasses and I'm a little bit panicked about that because if we go into stage 4 lockdown I don't think I'll be able to go to Specsavers to get new glasses so I'm like I need to get these new glasses so this needs to happen right now so like this I have no time today to deal with your shenanigans Ikea so I call them as soon as I wake up because they don't open until 8 and I'm on hold for like 15, 20 minutes and they pick up, which is good. And I get through to a lovely person who is like, okay, so if you still want it delivered, we can possibly deliver it on Sunday. Like that's the earliest, but she's not sure about that. And my brother's with me and he hears Sunday and he's just like, no, that's not going to fly. And I'm like, no, it's not going to fly because I got... I've got a readathon next week, and also I've got assignments starting to pile up, and I will not have time to build this furniture next week. Well, okay, I won't be building it, but I won't have time to sort my room to put in the new furniture next week. So I'm like, that's not going to fly. <laughs> and she's like, okay, well, you can do a click and collect, so which one's closer? So she lists two places, and I say one of them. And so we head over, and so she's like, okay, yep. Yeah, here's your reference number and it's in stock so you can just pick everything up there so the next day um my br the same mate of my brother's who is just unbelievably awesome he's got a car and he's attached a trailer to it and he's like i'll drive you guys there and we'll pick up the furniture so he takes us there and we go to click and collect first because that sounds like the logical place to go i did mention that she said to go to a reference desk but i was overruled so we go to click and collect first and they're like um we don't have your order and so i'm, I'm a little bit panicked because i'm like no they assured me it would be here and she's just like okay i'm just gonna call up so she calls up and it is at the reference desk so we go find a parking spot and then we head up to the reference desk where we wait for 20 minutes i guess another 20 minutes to get the stuff this is all happening on saturday so a lot of people are there so it's a bit of a wait line and my time is running out and we get there and the when we get to the desk the gentleman is lovely and i get my stuff like that i get a refund of the delivery because excuse me you did not deliver it i want my damn refund and then my brother's mate builds it and i clean everything and that was my ikea story so long story short with ikea do not order delivery it won't come Okay, so the, yeah, so don't order delivery from Ikea. The person at the desk was lovely and I did get the refund, which is good. And my brother is the best mate in the world and he put all the furniture together for us. So I wasn't in a ball crying on the floor trying to figure out how to put together this Ikea furniture. Um, so while he was doing that, I cleared up all the sections and this morning I cleaned... So my room is actually clear for once. Like, I vacuumed the floor. I am so happy right now with how clean my room is. And so two of the, so the furniture I got was that chest of drawers, and I got another bookcase. And I got um, a desk bookcase for all my journals, so it was a complete disorganized mess because... <laughs> You do not understand how many journals I have. That's a whole different video. Excuse me? That's a whole different video. Now, over the next coming weeks, we're going to be doing the readathon. So I will be doing a vlog thing for that, and that's actually the video challenge. One of the challenges is to make a cup of tea or coffee. I don't drink tea or coffee, so I will show you how to make a cup of soda. Or pop, as you might call it. Um basically diet coke and yeah so i'll be showing you that and some other fun stuff and i'm really looking forward to it i'm really looking forward to it but if i seem a little stressed or maniac in it it's because i'm doing it while being at school 
So I'll be studying at the same time as doing this. I'll be going to class and that sort of thing. So I'll just be re- Sorry about that. Uh, I got an incoming phone call and that cut off the camera. So that's what this new angle is. You are balanced on some of my notebooks on the shelf. You would think this would be easier now that I've got this. It's actually not. So that's annoying. Like this angle's working. This angle's lovely. Focus. Oh, the day I get a camera that does not have focusing issues. It'll be a happy day indeed. Um, yeah, so next week, just, if I seem a bit maniac, I probably am. Um, I did find my journal for doing all my notes, which is fabulous. Just need to work out where I, that's over there. Um, so everything's clear. I've got all my books. I now have a Game of Thrones shelf, which I'm so excited about. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, that's what's been happening. Oh, <coughs> the other thing that's been happening is I played the new Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC, you know, the Isle of Armor, and that was so much fun. I played it with my best friend, and I played Minecraft with my best friend, and introducing her to Minecraft was just so much fun. So, ding. I've had fun, but... Yeah, things are gonna go rah, rah, again. Anyway, uh, I'll just show you that shelf real quick. Apparently I cannot flip the camera. So this is a very awkward angle of my shelf. That's, mm. What is going on? Why can't I do this? There we go. Okay. See, I have the brand of Tarth Pop, I have the brand of Tarth uh, Rock Candy figure, as well as Sans and Arya, two books in the series, and some other <laughs> books. I'll explain this in better detail later. But you've seen it! Yay! I also have a Sarah J Mass shelf, too. I just thought I should show you that. <laughs> I apologize if this makes anyone sick, it's making me sick. Yeah, so that is this disorganized chaos that is this video. I really hope you enjoyed whatever this is. <laughs> um, yeah, I will do a full room tour when I get my Redbubble posters. It's not quite ready yet. And I know a lot of people are going to be, well, not enough people watch this video for it to be a lot of people, but people can be like, bookshelf tour, please. And to you, I say... I've got special plans for that. Um, I want my best friend to guess to film it. So that's going to have to wait until we're allowed people back in our houses. Because that's one of our lovely restrictions with COVID. So just, yeah, that's going to be a bit. I'm very annoyed because my shelves are finally sorted and perfect for a tour. But what are you going to do? Promise I'm not sick, I have a dry throat. Alright, uh, that's it. I'll let you go. Um, if you have any ideas for a video you'd like me to see in the future, or any books you'd like me to read, please let me know down in the comments down below. Or which book on my TBR, which will be my previous video, over here somewhere, that you're most excited for me to read and do a book talk for. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed, guys. If you did, like, comment, maybe even subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!